section 4.2 linear functions. We already looked at many of the properties of linear functions in chapter three, although we were not considering them to be functions at that time. If we can solve a linear equation in two variables for a variable y, then we can think of our equation as a linear function. These types of functions have many uses in mathematics and beyond, including linear regression. In this section, we will cover we will cover topics in linear functions and their graphs and linear regression. A linear function f or a first degree polynomial function of one variable, say the variable x, is any function that can be written in the form of f of x equals mx plus b, where m and b are real numbers. And the graph of the linear function is a straight line with the slope m and the y-intercept 0b. Let's look at the example. Problem 1. Find the linear function with the following properties. In part a, the function at 0 equals 9. The slope of the function f is negative 8. The f at 0 equals 9 gives us the order pair 0, 9, which is in the form of 0, comma b. Therefore, the b is 9. The slope means m. m of this function is negative 8. The linear function will be in the form of f of x equals mx plus b. So we obtain the function in the form of negative 8x plus 9. When we plot the graph of this linear function, we need the slope m and the point on the graph. The point is already provided by the problem, which is 0, 9, or the y-intercept. So we locate 0, 9, and then from the slope negative 8, with the concept of price overrun, negative 8 means negative 8 over 1. When we look for another point on the line, negative 8, that means we go down 8 units and then go over to the right 1 unit. Therefore, we get two points located on the same, same line. And then we're going to use the line to connect these two points together to form the straight line or the graph of this linear function in part A. Part B, function at negative 6 equals negative 4. Give us the order pair x negative 6, y negative 4. The slope is 3 over 2, or m equals 3 over 2. To form the linear function, which is in the form of f of x equals m x plus b, we got the m from provided information, but we don't know the b value yet. We are going to use the order pair that we obtained from the function at negative 6 equals negative 4, as x is negative 6 and y is negative 4. We place in the function, function form, and then we are going to solve for b. f of x is the same as y. So the y is negative 4 equals m, which is 3 over 2 multiply by x, which is negative 6, and then plus b, and then we are going to solve for b. In this case, we can reduce the 2 and negative 6 to be a negative 3, simplify to be like negative 4 equals negative 9 plus b. So then the b value is negative 4 plus 9 or positive 5, then we put them together into the form of the function or the linear function. f of x equals m, which is 3 over 2, multiplied by x and then plus b, which is 5. 
when we plot the graph, we either use the order pair negative six, negative four, or the order pair, which is from the zero B or zero five, either one. So let's use the, uh, the one negative six, negative four. is located in the third quadrant and use the information from the slope, which is right over one. So we move up three units, one, two, three, and go over two units to obtain the second coordinate on the same line. And next we are going to draw the line passing through this point to represent the graph or the straight line for this function.